Hey everybody. So if you ever wanted to uh, learn how to sharpen your pencils, um, I'm gonna show you how. We're gonna go over some of the things that I do when I sharpen my charcoal pencils uh, and the tools that I use. All right, hope you enjoy this video. If you do, comment below. All right, so I have a whole bunch of stuff in front of me. Um, let's go over it really quick. This is a piece of sandpaper. Uh, I can like 400, 320 also works. If you don't wanna make your own, if you don't have a piece of wood, you don't wanna cut out the sandpaper and kind of have it there permanently, you can always buy these. These are called sandpaper pads. Uh, they come in little slits of sandpaper that are stapled at one point. Mine is extremely dirty because it's being used, obviously. Uh, I like to use the dirty side, so I'm just gonna keep it like that. They come in different types. Uh, it has a smooth side and a rough side, so I can kind of use both sides to sharpen differently. Then I like to use drywall sandpaper. And if you look at the back of my sandpaper pad, it's got drywall sandpaper on the back of it. And what I've done is I will cut it into these little mesh lines. It's really easy to cut. You can use scissors, you can use an X-Acto and just kind of strip it apart the way that you want. Uh, I will cut them to actually fit the exact size and use a stapler and just staple right through, you can see it right there, right through the gritty parts of the sandpaper. And what that will do is it will give me like a rough sandpaper and on the back side I have a smooth sandpaper. If you're afraid of getting dirty, like I always do, then maybe you want to put it on a different piece of wood, but I don't mind getting a little dirt on me. I mean, we're all artists. We get, we get dirty all the time. Charcoal is good. Good for the soul. Pencils, as we all know, come in a lot of different thicknesses and a lot of different, um, different types of lead. So when we sharpen these pencils, I'm gonna show you step by step how I would do it uh, and how I wanna treat the different pencils differently. I don't want the lead to be uh, as long uh, on a smaller pencil. I want it to be a little bit shorter. I wanna keep this tip uh, really rounded so it has like this little convex edge. You know, it should be able to stab somebody if you get really angry, but don't do that. Please don't do that, don't stab anybody. Uh, and I want to make sure that it's rounded around the edges really, really smooth, okay? This convex tip is really important. It needs to taper really far out from your pencil so that it doesn't hit your paper and your pencil can almost lay flat on the paper so you can really make nice gradations. So this is our goal. We're going to talk about how to get to that goal, all right? So here are the things that you're going to need. You're going to need one of these sandpaper patties. All right, I like to use an X-Acto blade. This is a number 11 blade. They go quickly. You're probably gonna need to get a pack of like five or six to just keep on sharpening. But this is what the X-Acto looks like. I like the ones that have the rubber, uh, rubber grips on them because they allow me to release the X-Acto from the back and then pull the X-Acto blade out from the front, which is great because then I'm not trying to, you know, uh, release it or you know unscrew it from here because if I do ouch right we can always get hurt so I like to kind of make sure that I can tighten it from the reverse of the grip right and that way the blade really really doesn't want to come out and it's got some stick to it okay you can also use mat knives and all sorts of other things it's fine whatever your preference is this is my preference I like using this dude so the key to sharpening a pencil is really the grip I'm sharpening my Conte à Paris the Pierre Noir number 2b uh, this is a pretty stiff lead. It's gonna take some some resilience. Uh, it's gonna you know it's gonna be okay with getting beat up a little bit, so I can put a little bit more pressure on it. What I like to do is I like to hold it about two inches back, right? Really, really firm grip. I grab my exacto. I don't want to stab into it. So you want to make sure that your exacto is not pointing like this. Your blade is not pointing like this, right? It's always pointing out. You know, it's kind of like whittling, if you ever whittled when you were a kid. You're just taking off a little bit of material from the top, right? Not too much. So I want to make sure that I'm not like stripping off the wood. I'm just tapering the wood really slowly. And then you want to get really used to doing this in your fingers, right? You're going to start rotating your pencil as you were sharpening it. And I hold my uh, X-Acto blade so that the blade is always hitting the back of my thumb so I don't accidentally chop off my thumb, right? I want to go straight down the uh, pencil as quickly as I can, but as safely as I can, because the faster you do it, the less stuck it's going to get. And you don't want it to get stuck because that's when you get those little chippy marks that we don't really like as artists. We want everything to be nice and smooth and clean or else it's going to get in the way of our maneuvering the pencil. Okay. 
All right, so I'm gonna go slow motion here. I'm just gonna show you really slowly how I do this. Hold the pencil really, really tight. Hold the X-Acto blade really, really tight. And you're gonna see me slowly turning the pencil. I'm always going back to that same point in space. I'm not trying to get like a perfect whittle. I'm just trying to take off material and make sure I do it as consistently as I possibly can. Now, the key to this is you need a new blade. If you don't have a good blade on your X-Acto, this is not gonna work. Or whatever you're using, make sure you always have a good blade. I'm gonna go around and around and around. Now, I don't wanna ever push down because if I push down, I'm gonna break that lead. As soon as I get here, right? Oh, do you see that? I see that this lead is already broken. All right, so this guy is gonna probably snap off, but let's see if we can get away with not snapping. All right, as soon as you get here, you wanna leave half the wood on. So even though I'm going back two inches, I'm leaving it about half tapered wood, half uh, charcoal lead, okay? So, uh, ah, there it goes. So this tends to happen sometimes. And that's okay. You can ask for a refund from Conte and they will simply say, no, thank you. Uh, this happens and that's okay. Sometimes the leads are broken on the inside. What are you going to do? You just start sharpening again. So we're going to go back and I'm going to do this a little bit faster. So that, that's what we're going to end up with. We're going to end up with a stubby right here, which is always fun to sharpen. And then we're gonna end up with these tapered edges that look really beautiful, right? You want that taper to be really, really smooth. Uh, you want it to be long. You don't want it to be abrupt because if it's abrupt, it's not gonna let you lay your pencil down flat. If you have a really short taper, it's gonna force you to stick your pencil up like this, right? You want that pencil to lay down flat on the paper, okay? Once that's done, here's where, uh, especially on this guy, the uh, sandpaper really comes in handy. Not the sandpaper, the uh, drywall paper. Because this is a really, really gritty charcoal. It's gonna allow me to just sand. Ah! <laughs> Mother effer. Let's do that again. All right, here we are again. Third try. That stuff happens, you know? Sometimes, sometimes, Conte, you sell me pencils that are broken. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna go through, we're gonna get the sandpaper pad. It's gonna be black on black, so it might be a little hard to see, but the motion that I wanna do is this motion where I am turning my hand and sharpening at the same time, and you just go, faster and faster. And you're gonna see how my pencil lies almost flat because I'm really trying to get like a nice cone at the end of that tip. It's gonna take a little while. I love that sound. It's the sound of harmonious sharpening. You don't wanna push too hard because if you do, it's gonna break unless it's got a crack in it. No matter what you do, it's gonna break. And then you can stop, check out the tip. Ooh, it's starting to show. That is the beginning of a beautiful tip, okay? Now, you're gonna see if I throw it way up here. See how it's kind of gritty right there? Where are you? So I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna smooth it out on this uh, charcoal, this uh, sandpaper pad. All right, and there I go. Now I have a nice tip. Uh, let's see if I can get a piece of paper. All right, so we can kind of look at it. Nice long tip. It's about a half an inch, which is what I liked, about three quarters of an inch, nice taper. And that's kind of what you want when you start to draw. This will allow me to make lines, whee, and allow me to make values, do all sorts of wonderful things with a lot of control. And I'm always kind of dragging the pencil along that edge, so it's always staying sharp, sharp, sharp as I'm drawing through it, okay? All right, that is the Conte Pierno ear. I'm gonna show you a thinner pencil. All right, here we go. Here's the Ritmo. You're gonna see, first thing I'm gonna do is move my finger a little bit closer, right? I don't wanna take off as much. This one's a little sticky. 
I can feel my blade dying. So I probably want to change my blade soon. That is the tip. That is my taper. Now you're going to notice if I compare it to this guy, ah, it's actually a little bit, it's actually almost the exact same size. Uh, normally I wouldn't make it that long, but that's okay. It seems to be holding up all right. And then for this guy, I will not flip over and use the drywall sandpaper because this is a very brittle uh, tip. I'm just gonna use the sandpaper pad itself. I'm gonna roll it back and forth. Once again, here's my slow-mo. Rolling back and forth, all right? Just like that. So you can see it a little better. I'll flip it onto a new pad. So you just kind of roll it back and forth. Real time. And then, ta-da, you will have this beautiful tip at the end, all right? And that is a sharp tip. And what you wanna be able to do is draw like a really, really fine line. So, charcoal pencils, that's how you wanna do it. If you have any questions, hit me up. I once again sharpen the Ritmo and I sharpen the Conte Pierre No Ear pencils, but that's what I would do for the correct pencil sharpening technique. All right, guys, good luck. Look forward to seeing your drawings.